All right, so we're going to continue working on these hands for Arts 150 sculpture class. Um, I also really want you to be aware of these elements of art as they will be the things that will help us through this and understanding them is kind of paramount. Um, right now, we're going to look at how the elements of line and shape help beget form or help to understand form. Of course, value, texture, space, time, they're all there. These are elemental. But again, talking about line and shape. So I'm looking at my left hand here, and I'm seeing that the line that crosses my hand right about here is actually the widest point of my hand. Now, I've got a lot of clay up high here, more the tip of the thumb. So these fingers are going to be more slender and closer together. So I'll be pushing a bunch of this clay around. I've also noted that this thumb pad area is the thickest part of my hand. So I want to kind of note that, and I'm putting a line here for that, that thumb pad area. So I'm kind of laying out. This would be the knuckle on the other side, but it's going to correspond to these kind of meaty pads that are in the palm of my hand. So I'm just, just starting to kind of lay things out with these lines. The other thing that I've noted, again, about where the widest point is of my hand is that this is my pinky's not going to be way out here. This is the widest point, see? Right, so the pinky actually goes in from this widest point that is here. So I need to start kind of laying this out, kind of thinking about it. You notice I'm using a pencil. The other thing I like to do is get like an old chopstick and just kind of sharpen, sharpen one end of the chopstick to make it kind of be a point. So I'll be pushing this clay around, kind of moving it over, dealing with some of these thicknesses. Um, you know, there's almost... There's almost enough clay here to make two hands, especially around the fingers, the thickness wise. But I needed that much because we're just starting here. We want to kind of too much is better than not enough. We want to have enough thickness for that thumb pad. Um, but we'll kind of keep going on this and kind of start hacking into it. So this is really about the layout, kind of understanding how you can work with line and shape to create form. And it's a lot about observation. If you find yourself working a lot on the piece and not looking at the subject equally, if not more, then you should really slow down. Um, you can see there are different shapes of different values here. You know, this is a darker value. So this is kind of like a shape that is kind of going up, right? This is actually, although it's on this rounded surface, it's kind of a little flatter than this is. This is more round, right? And then this edge of my thumb is kind of flat. So there's all these different ways to look at these things. This whole shape, or or I should say volume or form, ends at this line right here. All right, there's kind of a valley in here. So I want to start to kind of think about that. And you can start kind of feeling your way around this and kind of pushing this material around, right? Like this wrist is going to be down a little bit from here so i can start kind of picking away at this just just with my hand remember we want to kind of hold on to our clay scraps now one word that i really want to talk about is restraint restraint go slow and observe a lot because it's harder to put clay back together than it is to take clay away so these things we want them to slowly take shape